Hello and welcome to the Travel Enthusiast channel. Today I'm sitting in my summer house. I'm sitting in my summer house setting. I thought I'd change it up. It's, it's you know, this is the summer, so I thought I'd be in the summer house. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my business course at college. I know I briefly spoke about it before, but I will be talking about it now. Um, it was a business level 3 BTEC um, at college, and I had about 26 assignments and two examinations internal. Um, it was very hard to push me. There was a, a range of units, ethics, accounting, um, creative product promotion, uh, resources, uh, marketing, um, there was about nine, so I've just named a few of you. Um, they've changed them now, it's completely different, they've added more, they've taken away some. So yeah, it's very hard, I got at least one assignment a week, maybe two. Um, it pushed you, um, I was in three days a week, I had, I had about six business teachers, I was in Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, to achieve a D star, D star, because I got a D star, D star. I highly recommend do your assignment on time, do it, you give it in early or on time, um, take notes, revise, listen in class, ask your teachers, use them as much as possible, um, that's what we're there for, basically what you learn in class is based around your assignment, so please take notes, please listen, um, I always get my assignments in early or on time, so that, like I said, that would help, use a range of resources, I use online primarily. I use a couple of books from the library or online books, that's quite good, uh, books I had at home. The hardest unit for me was accounting. Um, so yeah, I did business but it kind of focused mainly on management but you kind of dip into different businesses. Yeah, the hardest for me was accounting, I don't really like maths so that was the hardest for me. We had to do a, a range of putting numbers in like a graph and putting numbers in like a, a spreadsheet and you had to work out different formulas, you had like 20 formulas, like how to work out fixed assets, it's just stuff like that, I don't know, like income, uh, if you're making a loss, just stuff like that, so if you're not really into math, then I really don't recommend you take business, business is like the best course, it was such a good course for me, and I'm so glad I took it. Also, just a quick note, if you give your assignments in early or on time, that means that you can finish earlier, I finished in the, June the 12th, and the whole college shut on June the 30th. Nearer to the end, the teachers were a bit picky about my work, so I had to keep, keep coming in, so I actually essentially finished last at the end of May, but I had to keep coming in, handing assignments, tweak this before they could send it off. You have to sign stuff as well, sign forms to ensure it's your work. Um, make sure you keep all your, basically when you give assignment, you have to give them three forms. It's like a, a declaration form to ensure it's your work, um, plagiarism, stuff like that, so you have to sign it. But I think it, they dropped it down to two near to the end because it was just three, but two of them were similar, so they did two. Uh, you have to sign that, make sure you keep all of them until you get your certificate, certificates. I did in a folder, I kept it all in a folder, and I got rid of it. I kept my work done, my business work. I hope this video has been useful to you for taking the business course. Please give it a like and subscribe. Thank you.